We wanted to come forward with it as soon as we could. Bishop Stephen Reka says it was a nearly two-year process to compile and publish this list of 10 priests credibly accused of sexual misconduct with a minor throughout the diocese history. We have to know what the reality is around each of these allegations, whether they're credible, whether they're corroborated and substantiated in some way, what do we know about it. The release of this list came as Bishop Reka met with bishops from across the country in Baltimore. A main topic of discussion, the church sex abuse crisis. What were your expectations heading into this meeting with bishops across the country? Well, I think we wanted to do something in the wake of what happened and transpired this summer with the allegations that came against Archbishop McCarrick and, um, and the Pennsylvania grand jury report. We wanted to be able to provide something concrete. The bishops were widely expected to vote on and pass resolutions that would have created a code of conduct for bishops and establish a panel to investigate bishops accused of misconduct. That vote was delayed on orders from the Vatican. I was quite disappointed. It's like I kind of sat there kind of with my mouth open um, because I thought here we are. We wanted to move this agenda item forward and get something out there to say that we are addressing this issue forthrightly. The bishops also voted down a resolution encouraging the Vatican to release documents surrounding their investigation into the now disgraced former Archbishop of Washington, Theodore McCarrick. I was hoping that we would pass it just merely as a resolution of encouragement. And so I was disappointed that that didn't happen. I voted for it. Reka says the diocese is now determining what next steps it will take, which could include publishing a history of where priests accused of sexual misconduct with minors in the diocese spent time working. Every incident, there is a person who is trying to make sense and trying to heal and trying to say, what does the church mean for me? For a look at the list from the diocese and information on reporting abuse, head to 9in10news.com. In Gaylord, David Lydon, 9in10news.